Hi, Poo Poo's Nest Poo Point of Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Tribe. So this is a love reading for November 2020 for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's find out what's going to be going on with your love life or your love connection in November. You know, y'all need this song song. Okay. Let's jump on in, y'all. So, universe, spirits, and guides, what is going to be going on for Virgos? Love life or love connection for November 2020. Bracelets, y'all. Fix the shirt. Bring the shirt down. Let's get up my dirt. Nope. Nope. Don't fall. Y'all cars have been falling all day on me. I've been bending down so much, it don't make no sense. So we have spiritual union, which is the two of cups. Some of you guys could be connecting with somebody new, or you're, you just get you have a strong connection with someone. Temptation. Some of you guys could be connecting with a Capricorn. Some of you guys, the connection you're in is toxic. With the double card there. Transformation. Yeah. There's a change coming. Some of you guys could be connecting with a Scorpio. Aries, some of you guys can be connecting with the Aries with authority and spiritual strength. So there's a some of you guys a, a situation is toxic, and they're telling you guys a transformation needs to happen so your spiritual your spiritual side can get stronger. Some of you guys, your relationship is being tested right now. Union. How y'all doing? Y'all good? Y'all good? Hold on, let me scoop this up a little bit. So y'all can see. Some of you guys, somebody's spying on you or you're spying. Okay, there's there could be an ending coming with uh, an ending coming about with um maybe a Libra or Taurus or someone somebody that you have a child with with the Empress here. Clarify spiritual union. Clarify spiritual union. Okay. The moon card and a magician. So someone is hiding the fact that they're trying to manifest the connection here. Ten 
Six of Pentacles want to give me into a connection. Yeah, definitely. There's a transformation going to coming about. Uh, it could be with the marriage or someone that um, you live with, or it could be just a twin flame. Clarify temptation. Okay. So, clarify temptation, which is the devil card. Okay. okay. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Not really giving offer not being given tell me more about temptation which is the double card thank you could be a cancer but moving forward some of you guys could be um, single or becoming single some of you guys are moving forward from a connection because there's no offer given yeah eight of, eight of wands fast communication clarify transformation okay hold on there's a card that flipped over ten of swords so i'm gonna take that with that something ended something's ending something ended clarify transformation they came out like to the side. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. A lot of fighting, sadness, disappointment. Okay, there's a transformation due to feelings. Cutting some. Cutting feelings. Queen of Swords. Could be connected with an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Seven of Swords. Okay. There's deception here. Um, this is about to end and change. Somebody cut some type of deception. Somebody's going through a transformation. Somebody cut some type of deception off. And coming in slowly with some type of clarity communication of some type of hurt. Clarify spiritual strength. It could be you or it could be somebody else that you're dealing with. Somebody's deceptive or deceiving someone. But there's a change that's coming. Clarify spiritual strength. Somebody's spiritual side, yeah. Like, there's an empress again. So somebody's spiritual strength, somebody's spiritual side is getting stronger. Queen of Pentacles. Someone that's nurturing. Okay. Somebody walked away. Could have been from a third party or reconciliation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Knight of Wands, King of Swords, Six of Swords. Somebody moved away and detached. Because <laughs> somebody was being a player out here being, you know, hot potting, hot pot, whatever, fighting. And somebody walked away, so. Uh-oh. A breakup. Could even be um, a divorce, taking someone to child support, but some something due to court, or somebody taking somebody to court for finances with wealthy men. Somebody's financially stable here. Somebody could be in the public eye with community, or work with the community. Great fortune. Yeah, somebody has luck on their side in poverty and somebody don't chemistry so there's strong chemistry between you and someone, true love, 
Hold on. Stay optimistic about your love life, and then here's true love. Okay, some of you guys, if you're not dealing with someone, this is how the story can go. You can have somebody coming in, yeah, separation and release your ex and retreat, disconnection. So, there's a separation going on and somebody needs to release their ex. There could be a separation going on because somebody can't release their ex and something's over with retreat as well, so... There could be somebody coming in that needs to release their ex if someone's come if someone new is coming in towards you. They could possibly need to get a divorce. They could possibly um, need to also just get away from the deception. Thank you. Be assertive. So somebody needs to speak up and be real. I can love, I can love, I can be better with you. With you for real. I don't even know where that song came from. So trust. Listen to your intuition. Helpful people. No. Improving health, and it's up to you. So, I feel like they're telling you, don't, you need to walk away from this. Somebody needs to walk away from this. Cross watcher, if it's you, you need to walk away from this. This is not for you. Somebody needs to be focusing on their health as well, but it is up to you. The decision is up to you. Um, you need to have trust when it comes to your love life in general, and you need to listen to your intuition, okay? So let's see. So we is having a Mercury retrograde. So there is a lot of cycles that are ending and new ones beginning. It's in Scorpio. Scorpio is always is talking about all um, endings and rebirths. So maybe a new cycle is happening for everyone because all the signs that I didn't did, it's like it's talking about walking away and stuff like that. So what message, Universe Spirits and Guys, what message do you have for Virgo for their love life for November? Make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. So you need to be focusing on yourself right now. And not really focusing too much on love. Or not even focusing on this connection. Because this connection is, is going to come to an end anyway. Or somebody needs to release somebody. and It's just too much commotion right now. So Somebody needs to focus on building up their spiritual uh, strength as well. So... That's all I have for you guys. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you want to book a personal reading with me. Everything is down in the description box below. Keep in mind, your reading will be available to you at, it's 24 hours after you book your reading. Some people get lucky before the 24 hours. If you don't, then your reading will definitely be to you within 24 hours, okay? Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get notified on when I upload new videos. And if you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button so you can join the Poo Poo Tribe. Okay? Because we get real, real up in here. Okay, y'all? So, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, Poo Poo's.